focus focus there we go hello what's up YouTube welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're not new but if you are new my name is Claire I make college vlogs travel vlogs everything here on my YouTube channel and today is an exciting day because it's winter break so I don't have school going on anymore so I figured this would be the perfect time to sit down and film a little like pros and cons list of my first semester here at USF. I've had a lot of people reach out to me wondering what my thoughts were on my first semester here. I just figured it'd be easiest to sit down and make a video about it, especially because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that have similar questions. So just to preface everything, like I said, I am a junior here. I transferred this year though, so this is my first semester here. My college path has been kind of weird. I'm from Illinois, but I went to the University of Southern California, which was my dream school right out of high school. I was only there for a semester before leaving for like a whole combination of different reasons primarily money and stress from there I just moved back home to Illinois and I did community college and then everything went online and then I transferred here starting in August of this year I've been here for a full semester now so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of how I personally feel about the school and so I made this little list to share with you guys with my pros and cons of USF okay I'm going to start with, ooh, what should we start with? I'm going to start with the cons, just so we can end on a good note. Okay, so my first con is that I do believe having a car here is like an absolute necessity. I say this because personally, I hate being trapped in one place. I know some people are okay with just like sitting and doing work in their room. I don't tend to do that. Some of my friends in my sorority that didn't bring their cars are bringing their cars back either next semester or next year because they're so sick of not having a car. They feel trapped on campus. With that, I do feel like there is a major lack of things to do around campus. So usually you would have to go like downtown to do anything fun. There's no designated college area like in the USF area that has like college bars, college restaurants and stuff. There's really none of that here. Also, if you don't have a car and you live off campus or if you want to walk somewhere off campus, it's pretty sketchy around here. One of the roads that borders campus is called Fletcher and it is nicknamed Sketchy Fletchy. Do with that information what you will. I would not recommend walking around off campus alone. I think in the daylight it might be okay, but certain areas it's just not somewhere you want to be alone. I personally think that if I did not not have my car here I would not like USF so con number two is that most on-campus housing is like ridiculously expensive I have a good friend who also transferred here and he pays over $900 a month for one of the older apartment style dorms he does have his own room it's pretty small though and he has to share a bathroom with one other person and on top of that he got kicked out for all of winter break he had to get an Airbnb because there was no option for him to stay on campus for comparison I live in an off-campus apartment and I would say it's pretty nice I have my own room my own bathroom bathroom everything is pretty new updated the building was built in 2017 and I pay 750 a month and I'm I don't get kicked out over breaks so the cheapest on-campus housing is probably in Greek Village which I think is about $650 a month and those are shared rooms too Con number three is I do believe USF has a major lack of school spirit. If you're looking for a school with a lot of pride, USF really isn't it. This was a little bit of a struggle for me because I came from USC and there's so much school pride there and I loved it. I loved football games. I loved the pep rally type things. Like I loved all of that stuff. And then I came here kind of expecting to get that back and I absolutely did not. I went to one football game and I was so bored, which is crazy because USC football games I lived for, but the vibe here just is not, there, there's no school spirit here. Con number four is USF has random degree requirements. Even as a junior transfer, I still have to take pointless GEs. If I could just do major specific classes right now, I would learn so much more valuable stuff. I'm taking another psychology class even though I've taken like three before and I just feel like it's unnecessary but USF is requiring me to do that instead of taking classes that would allow me to build my skills in the field of mass communication. Con number five is that it is pretty easy to feel small at USF in order to thrive here because it is such a big school. You need to be the kind of person that 
will force yourself to go out and get involved. If you know you want to make friends and stuff, but you're not gonna be able to go out and push yourself and put yourself in those uncomfortable situations in order to make friends. Uncomfortable situations is like, oh, like I don't wanna go to this club meeting because I don't know anybody, you know? Like you're gonna have to do that here, I feel like. I feel like I have done really well because I am in a sorority, but then I also know people who really aren't involved and they would probably say that their USF experience is a negative one, whereas I say mine is positive. Sit down and just just think about you and, and your personality type, I guess. I feel like here at USF, most people aren't really looking to make friends like in class or just like walking around campus because it is more of a commuter campus. And like I said, school spirit isn't that high. People aren't really excited to be here, if that makes sense. They're just here for class and then they leave. You're gonna have to go out of your way to join clubs to find like-minded people, especially if you're not living in student housing, that would also help. Just be prepared that if you come here, you're gonna have to go out of your way, like really push yourself to make those friends. Con number six is that going out here is very expensive. We don't really have that many places to go around the USF area if you do want to like go out. The most popular option is the Ivy Rose, which is like a very typical college bar. You can get in if you are 18. Um, obviously you have to be 21 to drink, but the first time that I went, I had to pay $22.50 for cover. Other than places around here to go out, a lot of people will go downtown, they'll go to Ybor City. There are some different clubs down there, but it's it's pretty sketchy. They also have Soho, which is South Howard. They have a bunch of bars there that a lot of people tend to go to for like happy hour. You can't go if, unless you're 21, but I have some friends who go sometimes and I think they said you pay like 20 bucks and then you get like all you can drink from like a certain time to a certain time on Fridays. It's a really popular option, but I feel like still regardless, it's going to be kind of expensive, especially if you're not 21 yet and you're still looking to go out. Con number seven, my last con that I have on here, just like a little one, is Florida drivers. Florida drivers really do suck. You see on TikTok, people are like, oh, you know that's a Florida driver, whatever. People do not use their turn signals here. The rumors genuinely are true. Also, traffic is pretty bad around campus whenever, like around three-ish, it starts getting pretty bad. Whenever people are like leaving classes, a lot of people are leaving downtown, there's always traffic like during the typical times, I feel like. In the mornings from like 7.30 to 9.30, and then in the evenings from probably like four to six, the traffic is decently bad. It's not terrible, but it's not great. That is it for my cons, but here we go. We've got the pros. My first pro is a big one, and it's the Greek life here at USF. I really was never somebody who was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to join a sorority. Like, I really always had it in the back of my mind, but I was like, it's not essential. Starting at USF, especially as a junior, I knew I only had two years here, and I wanted to make the best of it, and I knew the fastest way to make friends and just have fun would be joining a sorority. So I went through recruitment, and I loved it. One of the biggest things that I love about Greek life at USF specifically is that it's not that massive. I know some people really do like the thought of being a sorority at like Bama or you know one of the other SEC schools which I think seems fun but for me what I wanted out of being in Greek life is getting to know a lot of people like genuinely knowing all the girls in my sorority. Right now DG here only has about 115 girls and that totally has allowed me to like get to know everybody in my chapter. I would be so overwhelmed if I was at even UF like with the bigger sororities there I would be so overwhelmed. It really is a good community as well. There are like different like little competitions or philanthropy events that we will hold or participate in with other sororities and fraternities. And because Greek life isn't that massive here, I feel like it's, it's a smaller community so you don't feel like you're in such a massive school. Pro number two is that I genuinely think USF is a great school, especially for my major. I can't speak too much for any other majors, but like I said, I'm a mass communications major. My classes, all of my major specific classes, they're small and they're really intimate. And I genuinely feel like for the first time in my college career, I have actually learned something super functional, something that I think I can apply in my you know career going on. I'm like learning how to film things. I'm learning how to you know do all of this stuff that pertains to media and it's really helping me in the real world now which is awesome. I do believe that USF gives you all you need to succeed in the media field and then some more. One of the most awesome opportunities that's offered here at USF is you can air your work on the news which is a really big deal because Tampa is the 13th biggest media market in the country and it is so crazy to say that even as a student you're able to get your work aired in that. There are seasoned reports 
supporters that have been doing this for 10, 15 years that are working to get up into a media market as good as Tampa. We as USF students, as Zimmerman students, we're able to get our work aired before we even graduate, which is insane. It's an awesome, awesome thing to put on your resume. I do feel like there are a lot of opportunities here for other majors, more specifically the health majors. I swear half of the people I meet here are in some sort of health related major. There are so many hospitals, um, either on campus or surrounding campus, so many opportunities for work, internships and everything. Pro number three, this one is a pretty obvious one, but USF is in Florida. Like I said, I'm from Illinois, so I'm so used to crappy weather and the fact that I'm sitting here in like a tank top right now and it's December 19th, it's crazy. It's been like mid 80s for the last two weeks, which is so nice. I actually leave to drive home tomorrow and I'm kind of dreading it because it's 30 degrees there right now. With the awesome weather, we are also in an awesome city. I genuinely think the Tampa, St. Pete area is an awesome, awesome place to be. There's really never a shortage of things to do here. Where we're at, like USF's campus is about 20 minute drive from downtown, give or take with traffic. But downtown there are a ton of restaurants, the river walk, it's just really fun to walk down there. You can people watch, you can see all the really nice yachts parked in the river and everything. Beaches are about an hour away as well. There's like the big name one which is Clearwater. A lot of people go there, you'll see plenty of tourists. But then there are other beaches too that you can take advantage of that are also about an hour or a little less away. Bush Gardens is actually just up the road. I have never been there but it's literally like two miles away maybe. Like I can see it from my apartment complex and there are a lot of good like concerts and events here. I've been to multiple concerts since I've been here. I went to Jack Harlow and I got front row which was super cool. They're like lightning and bucks games and then last night actually I went to the Jake Paul fight at Amelie Arena which is where the, uh, the lightning plays. It was crazy. It was really cool that you know there were a ton of super famous people here yesterday and I got to see them all. Pro number four is the cost. I really do think USF is a pretty cheap school, especially if you are a resident of Florida. At least half of the Florida residents that go here that I know of are getting at least some portion of their schooling paid for, but I know so many people who have you know, 50, 75, or even 100% of their tuition paid for by the Bright Futures. Even if you don't have a scholarship like that, in-state tuition is only $6,400 here a year. For out-of-state, it is $17,000. But I would have paid six, almost $17,000 as an in-state student if I were to go to U of I. Like I have to pay just a teeny, teeny bit more to go to school in Florida as an out-of-state student, which is crazy. My last pro is just that USF is a large school. I know this can be a con for some people, but I genuinely think that, like for me, I definitely thrive in a bigger school type situation. There are endless opportunities here. There's always an opportunity to meet somebody new if you put yourself out there. My camera is about to die. It's flashing red at me. So I genuinely love it here. I'm really excited to say that I found a place that I really think I do belong. I'm sad that I only have three semesters left, but I'm gonna do all that I can to make the best of them. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can comment them down below. I can make another video. If you guys have more specific questions, I can do a Q&A type thing. Stay tuned for an apartment tour. I will definitely have that out soon. And I'm gonna try and do even more videos, like day in the life, college vlog type videos next semester. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>